Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you guys so much for the continued love and support of my channel. Today's video I'm so stoked about. We are talking about layering combinations, but we're making it luxe. And I'm going to give you amazing tips that will keep this skin hydrated, moisturized, so that guess what? Your scents last all day. So, Without further ado, let's get into today's video of amazing Lux layering combinations. Okay, you guys, so the very first thing you need to know is that if your scents are not lasting, and I mean even the beast mode scents, there is a problem. Okay, Houston, we have a problem, we have issues. So, Fragrances can smell different and perform differently based on a number of factors. First of all, you have to consider the body pH. If your pH is off and you're wondering why every other thing smells sour on you or things just completely, you know, smell different from the actual perfume, it changes a lot. It could be your body pH, okay? And this is gonna be the chemistry that makes a fragrance smell a particular way on me smell different on my daughter like things don't always smell the same on us okay so sometimes it's just body chemistry that you can't help <laughs> and then sometimes it's just a a ph um imbalance and that can be fixed okay that can be corrected so the other thing you have to consider is going to be hydration okay and we're talking about Yes, internal, you need to be drinking your water because if your insides are dehydrated, the outside will be dehydrated, okay? So if your skin is not properly hydrated, moisturized, and if it doesn't have a layer of oil, how is the fragrance going to bind, okay? Perfume binds to oils. Say that again, perfume <laughs> binds to oils. So what you want to do is make sure that your skin is properly hydrated and moisturized. So one thing I always think about is something that the wise and wonderful MFK told us, okay? Pouring a perfume on your skin or spraying a perfume on your skin that is dry. It is just like pouring water on very, very dry, depleted soil. It's going to drink it right up. I know we watch videos or, um, you know, people will chime in on Instagram and say, I don't know, my, my, my skin just drinks up perfume. Sis, your skin is dry, okay? Your skin is dry and you've got to understand how to fix that and make your skin as moisturized as possible. So let's get into that. All right, now step one is so, so, so important and it is often overlooked. We're talking about exfoliation. Now, I know it is very popular to use a lot of these sugar scrubs, a lot of the um, salt scrubs. However, <laughs> understand that if you're using those a lot, these are, these are crystals, okay? And you're rubbing that into your skin and you are making microscopic tears within your skin. So eventually it can lead to inflammation, which is what we do not want, okay? So you're wondering why your skin is just inherently dry um, and, and your skin is always sensitive and inflamed, that could be a reason why. Okay, so let's get into what I like to use for exfoliation. Now, a lot of the things I use for exfoliation is not for the scent. It is for literally <laughs> making sure the skin is properly exfoliated. And when I say exfoliate it, I mean my skin will feel like a baby's butt once I'm done. So if you're just, your, your exfoliation is not, you know, given what it needs to give, I'm about to give you uh, the tips on what you need to do to get it right, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is talk about a very gentle exfoliator. Say it's summer, um, your skin has been, great it's been doing great and you don't need anything too abrasive or you know just what if you want to use something every day okay i don't recommend you exfoliate every day but every couple days you may want to use something gentle 
And so I love, love, love the Crush Macadamia and Rice Milk by Dove. This thing is almost empty. <laughs> and it's, oh my God, it smells so good. I love it, love it. Of course, if you got nut allergies, no, no. <laughs> but I shouldn't have to tell you that. But this stuff is great. You, It's softer, and so you don't think it's doing much. But let me tell you, your skin is going to feel so, so soft. And it's not overly abrasive and cutting these little micro tears into your skin. You're going to smell great and your skin is really going to feel great once you get out of the shower after using this. Now, the next one on the list is the Dundata, okay? And I'm talking about the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I used to use this for my face. And when I tell you this was like the best exfoliator, not this, the, the face version of this, this is relatively new. The exfoliate for the body is relatively new, but the face has been around for, for, you know, it's like holy grail. They have papaya enzyme in here, okay? And then they have, I think like a salicylic acid. Basically, this is gonna be a combination of chemical exfoliators and physical and that is going to give you the best when i listen come close the best exfoliation that you can get so this has one of the best physical exfoliators which in my opinion is going to be um the pumice stone so this is a it's like what lava is that where they get pumice from but you put this on dry skin. You start to exfoliate on dry skin. That is best because if you're using something with a lot of slip, it's not going to grip the dead skin and slough it off as easily as if you're using, you know, um, dry skin. So when you get in the shower, you want to do this before you even turn on the water, okay? Once you let this sit one or two minutes on the skin, rinse it off and i'm telling you you're going to be blown away by how smooth your skin surface feels all right so the last thing that i use for exfoliation is going to be the uh goshi exfoliating shower towel these will get the dead skin off but it's very like these they scrub it's abrasive but it doesn't tear the skin okay you're not gonna get any inflammation from this. And I love these because they're wide, they're long, and it's going to be so, so valuable for when you, um, you know, it's, it's hot girl summertime, it's right around the corner. You wanna exfoliate that back <laughs> when you wear your sundress. You can't have all of this glistening and glowing and then your back is crusty. So that's why I love these because it's gonna let you get those really, really hard to reach places. Unless, you know, you have a, a, a bay that can scrub you back with this, all right? So this also highly recommend the Goshi um, exfoliating towels. All right, you guys. So once you have done your whole shower routine, and don't worry, we're going to get to the body washing and all those combos later. This is, this necessary body serum is very necessary, let me tell you. When I say you need to start treating your the skin on your body like you're doing your face, you really, really do. Now me, I am such a huge proponent of Korean skincare methods. Um, I never knew that you were supposed to really layer on the hydration on the face. And when I tell you it was transformative to my skin immediately, <laughs> immediately. So oftentimes, you know, Western societies, we, we will wash usually with something very astringent rough that will dry the skin out, strip the skin. And then we put on our moisturizer and that's it. There are so many other things you need to be putting on to give it layers of moisture, give it layers of water so that your combination skin will correct itself. Oily skin will correct itself once you start to adequately hydrate it. So when your skin is extremely oily, it's just telling you that it's starved for hydration. That's all it is, okay? So once you really address that, you'll find that the skin will change, okay? And it becomes a lot more normal. I digress. <laughs> Let's get back to the body. The necessary is a serum for the body. So once you're out of the shower, you want to put this on. This is not anything oily. It's not gonna be anything occlusive. 
What it is literally is just a layer of extreme hydration. So when I put this on, just look at how this rubs in, okay? I mean, just, just like silk, okay? <laughs> I put it on my hands, my whole, like my arms, my everything, I, head to toe gets the serum okay so once you put this on when i tell you the body is going to be prepped and primed for your actual moisturizer okay something that's going to be occlusive which means it's going to seal that moisture and lock it down okay so that's when you start to bring in the lotions and the the creams and the body bombs and all that stuff all right now let's go back to the shower so what i'm going to do is give you the combination of the body wash that I use with a moisturizer and then of course the scent of the day, the perfume. And um, you know what? Do not be afraid to mix up scents. Everything does not have to be matchy matchy. So if you're doing um, Safanade, Orange Blossom, you don't have to do an Orange Blossom lotion, an Orange Blossom um, you know, body wash. Don't be afraid to mix it up. Um, you can do a sandalwood body wash. You can do vanilla. Don't be afraid to mix it up is all I'm saying. Once you get comfortable with learning how to layer and what just automatically kind of goes together, what accents, you know, nicely, then you can just mix it up however you want. Whatever feels good to you and smells good to you, go for it. But for the purpose of simplicity for today, I'm going to give you combinations that are really, you know, just really close in scent profile. So the first combination on this list is going to be the rose. Well, I have um, just maybe about three or four general rose fragrances that I stick to. You do not have to have the exact matching, um, you know, shower gel or body wash for the perfume. It's, it's not necessary. If you have that, great. But if you don't, these are some wonderful options that I feel like just work, okay? The first is going to be the Fresh Outlast by Olive Olay. I love this one. And this is the Rose Water and Sweet Nectar. This is a very like sweet, rosy smell. And I just find that it's not a rose that's gonna be too um, like dark or tangy or it's nothing like that. This is just a very sweet, beautiful rose and when I when I just don't know what to 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 layer or wear you cannot go wrong with rose I find and you cannot go wrong with vanilla so I have the big one of this because I use it so much I love it it leaves the skin very hydrated and it's just a go-to for me all right so the next one I always use is going to be the aromatherapy. If this is Love by Bath & Body Works. So this is going to be the rose and vanilla. You can't see that. These lights are so bright. But this is a staple. I love this. It smells, this top is broken. I dropped it, but it smells so good. It's, this is just a very natural rose. It's lightly scented with vanilla. So if you're wearing any kind of a rose combo, this is a go to. It's beautiful. Okay, and then the last rose that I love to layer with is that girl, okay? This is my Scarzo Body Wash and it smells amazing. Oh God, it smells just like the fragrance. So if you've never, you know, uh, heard me rave about this on my channel, I love it. I love this scent. But my daughter got me the wash and the cream. So I have the whole set, but don't be afraid to use this on a, just a, a day you're wearing a rose. Um, it layers beautifully with damn near any rose in your collection. So just keep that in mind. So for my rose fragrances, what I find works wonderfully is going to be this Nest Turkish Rose Perfume Oil. Now these oils are so fragrant. They last and they've got some projection to them. So I find that when I want to add a little bit of that, you know, that tart rose element to a fragrance or amplify it, this is so beautiful. It's got a sweetness to it. There are also some other notes. These are literally perfume oils. They're not just like a straight up, uh, rose. Okay. So if some other, um, 
scent you know profiles and notes going on in here but what you're getting is a very lush deep oh, decadent rose this is so good it is so so good this is like a larry must have you must have it i like to do on my days where i wear delina starting to shower with one of the washes that i mentioned layer with my delina body cream and this stuff right here you guys this thing is so fragrant if you just want to wear this you could you could just get away with wearing this if you if you if you don't want to spend the coin on the actual perfume you can get away with just wearing this but i love the smell and i find that this is just one that i actually wanted to purchase like you like i said you don't have to have the matching sets but i just this is one of my top of the tops i mean top three so of course i'm going to get this to go along with this so what i do it's honey, I layered them all, okay? Thank you uh, from Abby with love for giving me this idea because you're going to smell amazing. You're going to just get so many compliments off this layering combination. This scent will be on your skin 15, 16 hours later, okay? You, you spray it on in the morning, you do this whole routine and you're going to still smell like it when you go to bed, okay? Or until you take a shower. This lasts. <laughs> This lasts, this lasts, okay? So when you're layering them on top of very moisturized skin, that scent is going nowhere, nowhere. You're going to smell like rose goddess, okay? Delina goddess is what you will smell like all day long. So I'm telling you, if your scents are not lasting, when you do these extra steps, it makes a world of difference. All right, my love, so the next rose combination is going to be... <laughs> the it girl rose that is it's your rev so you understand that this is like rose it's patchouli it's chocolate and i find that this layers beautifully with the new uh bath and body works aromatherapy cacao and rose body cream they go together okay this has a little bit of cacao in it so does this they both have rose just a beautiful layering combination and i find that the rose in here it's not super rich but we can make it super rich. Put this in your hand, <laughs> put a few drops of this oil in your hand, rub it together and rub it all over your body. Top it with this. This is going to last you all day, I'm telling you. Because to, for me, on my hydrated skin, <laughs> this lasts a long time. Some people say that they don't get the best performance. I get great performance out of my Louis Vuitton fragrances and this is probably why. So if you have a Trap Rev, definitely check this fragrance out from Bath & Body Works. Like I said, I think this one is newer um, to the aromatherapy line, but it's a beautiful scent. And when you add this and you wear them all together, amazing combination. Okay, you guys, and just another uh, combo to wrap up the rolls is going to be just your, the regular um, body cream rolls from Bath & Body Works with the oil, okay, from Ness. And these also layer beautifully with your uh, Very Good Girl, Carolina Herrera. I love that combination. It also layers really well with Atomic Rolls. So if you have that, if you have any of those rich, you know, tangy, bright roses, this combination is a must have. All right, you guys, so we're done with the rolls. Let's get into Vanilla. Okay, now I don't know who's been sleeping under the fragrance rock, but if you do not have, okay, do not have <laughs> Vanilla 28 by Kali, I need you to get your life in order because clearly um, Vanilla 28, even if you find this to be too sweet to wear alone, baby, you need it to layer with. And I say that because if you want just a really, really good vanilla base. And um, of course you can use stuff like, you know, your Bath and Body Works warmer vanilla sugar. But if you want something that is gonna last even longer, something um, that is a little bit sweeter and just a little bit more luxe and amplified, you can make your own base. This is just what everyone needs to be doing before they put on any perfume. I do this with almost any perfume, okay? So if we're on vanilla and we want a vanilla base, but we don't have a matching 
uh, body cream, okay? Um, I feel like so many of them, it's, it's, it's gonna be their best sellers. They'll create a body set for it, but you're not gonna have a, a lotion or body cream for every fragrance in your collection, so you can make your own. Okay, and so for that, I love to use the Josie Moran uh, Whipped Argan Oil. This cream, okay? <laughs> That's what I have on today. It just goes on and the way it melts into the skin, you're going to get your moisturized life. Now you can get this in the unscented or you can get the vanilla. These are very lightly scented. So this one happens to be the unscented, but I do also have the vanilla bean. Um, they're so lightly scented that you'll get a little bit of the essence, but it's not going to disrupt, um, other, you know, perfumes or scents that you're wearing. So what I like to do, get this cream and I need you to spray this. Okay. Spray this in your hand. Once you have the cream in there, rub it together and hit your whole body with it. This is going to be an amazing vanilla base or any of your vanilla perfumes. Okay. This cream it doesn't matter if you wanted the HREP Rev body cream, honey, just make one. <laughs> Take the guesswork out of it. If you are, are just, I don't know what to layer, I don't know what to do, make your own base, okay? You cannot go wrong if you make your own base. You want to um, make a tohota, just layer, just, just put it in your hand, spray about four or five, and then cover your body in the scent. Now, I find that if I want to layer K. Ali Vanilla 28, I love to make my own K. Ali base until the queen, Monica Tan, gives us a body cream. I just make my own. And once you do that and you put it on, put on whatever scent you're wearing. Say I wanted to do a uh, Note Vanille that day. I make my base, <laughs> I put this on, Okay, and if I wanted to layer a little bit more with the Kaylee perfume, then I will hit it with another layer. I'm telling you, you are not getting the full wear and the full value of your fragrance collection if you are sticking to your little once in a day. Okay, you can be using up two or three different perfumes every day to help you get through some of these fragrances that you're afraid is gonna go bad. Um, and you're going to smell unique. You're going to smell interesting. And you're just going to smell freaking amazing, period, point blank. Okay, so the next vanilla combination I love to use, y'all. We all know her. We love her. The warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works. Start in the shower with the body wash. <laughs> use the, um, the moisturizer. And then just go in with any of your vanilla prominent fragrances. So some days I may want to do the Insulo, okay? One of my favorite vanillas. Um, or like I said, I may want to do Note Vanille. Just throw the vanillas together. You really cannot go wrong. Um, now, one of the creams that I am just absolutely obsessed with lately is going to be my Laura Mercier Creme Brulee Cream is by far <laughs> you thought that the lena cream was thick and and rich and no when i tell you you're gonna be rubbing laura mercier in for a good two minutes this thing is thick if your skin gets dry after this i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you <laughs> if you exfoliate okay give it a smooth clean base put this on this is going to keep you hydrated all day. This thing is thick, it's rich, and it smells freaking amazing. You're talking about edible? If you've got a Netflix and chill night and you don't want to be doing too much, put this on and he's going to be all over you. Okay, you don't even need a perfume. I love layering this with the beautiful Dama Bianca. This thing right here, we're not even going to get too much into the scent, but beautiful beautiful vanilla scent so ultra soft powdery and feminine and i just love the way that these smell together i love the way these smell together i've always said that the insulo reminds me of the top of a creme brulee dessert that little um caramelized crunchy sugary part that's what this smells like and then you're actually adding the custard portion so you're going to smell like a whole creme brulee snack. You're going to smell absolutely amazing with this combination. If you 
have no takeaways from this video, I need you to get your hands on some of the Laura Mercier body creams because they're absolutely amazing. Okay, and so um, something that I love to layer as far as my vanillas as well is going to be the Laura Mercier <laughs> and my Tahota, my lovely sugary, uh, sweet, straight up vanilla Tahota with Blue Heart by Tamin. Now, let me tell you, I'm not gonna get all into this fragrance, but when I say this is, this Blue Heart is a must a must have for summer. I will go all into it in an upcoming video, probably the next one that, that will post after this one, but this thing right here, okay, coconut, saffron, and it has vanilla flower, okay? It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm in love, I'm in love. I smell so damn good when I wear this. And again, we'll go get into it in another video. I don't want to take up too much time, but uh, these together, you're going to smell divine. So make your vanilla base, or you can use this, put them together. You're going to smell absolutely amazing. No one's smelling better than you that day. No one, absolutely not. All right, you guys. So the next combination is going to be your caramels. I mean, we know her. We love her. We, we know the bum bum, the boom boom, uh, Brazilian, Sol de Janeiro, uh, Brazilian boom boom cream. This body wash is so freaking delicious. And you're adding this body cream, which the original is just my favorite, okay? This is, this really locks down the moisture on your skin. So anything with a caramel scent, you guys, I love layering this with my New York Nights. <laughs> I smell like a snack when I wear this, okay, period. You're going to smell so sweet and so delicious. Okay, and now another one that I also use with this combination is going to be my Peregrina. This is also by the same house of Tamin, and Peregrina is got, um, it's got white florals, it's got caramel, it's got vanilla. It is such an amazing fragrance. Again, not gonna get too into it, but honey, this house right here, beautiful feminine scents, beautiful. So I, if I wanna amp up that caramel in my Peregrina, this, it smells beautiful together. And if I really wanna go there, after I put on the Peregrina, I, a very thin spritz, of vanilla 28 okay <sighs> that's all i can do with sigh it smells amazing right, you guys, so this next combination is going to be just next level looks amazing okay you're gonna smell rich you're going to smell absolutely like a 10 okay so i start in the shower with in the stars bath and body works okay this has like a very ambery, oody, musky scent. I think this has got like some sandalwood in it. It's amazing, okay? This, with the with the matching body cream, it may be too much. Like that's how fragrant and potent this, uh, this scent is in this. So I rarely even use the lotion, honestly. So I start in the shower with this, okay? And then I follow up with Midnight Milan, and this is by Glass House. This thing smells so good and is very, very moisturizing. So this is saffron and rose. Okay, so when I'm wearing my Baccarat Rouge 540, these together are give, already giving me a Baccarat Rouge vibe, okay? And you put that on, anything with saffron, Anything with saffron, I need you wearing this, okay? Uh, Midnight in Milan. So Blue Heart, it's got the saffron. I wear this, okay? And also, I wear this when I'm with my Passion Dollar More. Anything with the saffron notes, this is your cream. This is the lotion. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about Fruity Floors for a moment. Now, this combination is, okay, so I was not aware <laughs> that Nishane had like these amazingly fragrant body oils. Sometimes you get like these little matching sets and it's not giving, okay? <laughs> a lot of them you'll be better off just making your own little concoction, but this, 
This oil is so fragrant and beautiful and it smells just like a love fragrance. So what I say, when I say you need uh, this body oil, you need it. Your skin will be glistening all day and the scent lasts for hours. If you didn't want to spring, okay, for the coins for this one, just get the body oil. You will be a-okay, trust me. Of course, it's not going to project as far and give you you know, the same as the fragrance, but this is so fragrant. I love it. I love it. I got to get the Ani one next. Um, so of course you're going to layer these. Okay. Put on your body serum after the shower, put on your oil. You don't even need a lotion. Okay. <laughs> because that body serum is going to actually give you your moisturization. And then you're going to layer with the Nishane perfume. That's a no brainer, but when I say this layers with so many fruity florals in your collection, any sweet fruity floral that you have, go ahead and hit your body with the Nishane uh, body oil. It layers perfectly with my Dolce Garden. It smells so good. Damn near any fruity floral in your collection, this is going to accent it. No, it does not have to have the same notes as the others, just try it, just try it. This is how you elevate a scent. This took this, took this from fruity, coconut, flirty, you know, to, okay, when, when we're in a whole nother zip code, whole nother zip code, okay? Whole, it's, 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 it's giving rich vibes when you put them together. Beach rich vibes, period. Okay, first, before I even start with the fruity floral combos, this is what I use for um, the shower. This is the Necessaire Sandalwood. And when I tell you, this smells like a spa. Oh my God, this is the most refreshing spa-like bath experience that you will ever have in your life, okay? It's sandalwood, but it's not like this heavy, a uh, woody type, but it's not that, it's not masculine. It's, it's just like a spa. I can't, you just gotta smell it. You gotta try it. It's like a spa sandalwood, if that makes any sense, where it's like got this airiness, this freshness, this, it's everything. So because, you know, my Nishane has the, uh, that sandalwood, that creamy sandalwood, I love starting in a shower with this okay and then you know follow with your oil and your perfume also anything with sandalwood in it or anything you want to add a little sandalwood this works beautifully i love it and the thing about this is you're really treating your body like your face <laughs> this balances the ph on the body's skin where most soaps will not do that. This will help correct a lot of imbalances within the skin. And this is just a must have, must have product. Again, that is the necessary body wash. Okay, so this next combination is going to be for my Orange Blossom Lovers. I need you to come close, okay? Orange Blossom Lovers, come close. What I wanna do in the shower is start off with my Nectarine Blossom and Honey by Joe Malone. Now I don't have any Joe Malone um, colognes, but these body washes, I love them. <laughs> they are very fragrant and they just smell so beautiful. So I love starting my Orange Blossom combo with this. Even though it's not Orange Blossom, it still is giving you a whole like, um, fruit sweet vibe okay so this pairs wonderfully with any orange blossom scent so what you're gonna do is when i say don't walk i need you to run and get this lotion <laughs> this is the orange blossom absolute lotion by pene de Sense, okay this is straight out of france and when i tell you the quality okay so you've got this olive oil this shea butter and it's like number two and three on the ingredients list so when i tell you this is so much bang for your buck but the thing is so fragrant like people were complaining on amazon about how fragrant i'm like honey this is what fragcom loves i hate a lotion or you know a, a scented body cream that's not fragrant what's the point 
This thing is fragrant. You could wear this by itself if you wanted to, but put this on. And what I need you to do is a trifecta. Don't ask me a question, just spray. I need you to put on a base of softener everywhere, okay? Hot points, it's gonna be your memo centra. So once you spray softener all over, here, here, <laughs> here, I need you to put on your central by memo. And then you're going to do a very light spray over with Killian's Love, Don't Be Shy. This is probably one of my favorite layering combinations that I've ever tried. These, these three smell so good together. I, I sprayed this on one day. I left the house. I didn't even see my daughter this day, okay? Because she was still asleep. I left for work, got home. First thing she asked me when I walk in the door, what did you spray on this morning? Because it smells dang good and I need it. I was like, really? Like I left, I left the scent all behind up in my room and I told her the combination and she's been wearing it. I'm telling you, no one is gonna smell like you. And if you love orange blossom, this is a must. This is like a holy girl coming. I can't even wear these separately no more since I've started layering these. I cannot. This smells amazing. Amazing. Orange blossom combination, you must have. All right, you guys. And so the last layering combo we're going to talk about is just like a very um, fresh, coconut type of vibe okay so i start out in the shower with the olay it's called it's exfoliating and it's hydrating and i love this because it saves a step so this has deep sea minerals in it okay remember we we like we like the minerals and the stones for exfoliating this has it in here okay and it's got like a coconut water so it's a very fresh coconut scent and it leaves skin so soft. <laughs> Lather, fill your loofah up with this, hit your body all over, scrub, and you're going to feel and smell absolutely amazing when you get out. So what I like to do is the uh, use at the beach uh, lotion, my Bath and Body Works. This is very lightly scented, which I find is perfect for one of those hot days. Um, let me see, this has Japanese blossoms, toasted coconut, uh, bergamot waters, salt sea breeze, and sun-kissed musk. It's perfect, it's like a perfect freshy type of lotion. And once you've done that, I love layering it with Creed Virgin Island water. <sighs> this thing, you smell like a whole summer, like, Gin and tonic with a splash of coconut type. This, this scent, I love it. I love it. Like it's just, this is going to invigorate you. It's going to just make you feel so refreshed. Um, also, if, if you're going out and it's 90 degrees, like we're already getting into like 85s here in Georgia. It's already hot. It's summer is here, okay? Spring was like two seconds, summer is here. And the, this is the scent you want when it's one of those hot, sticky days. This is going to give you that coconut vibe, but it's got this lime. And I think it's got um, maybe like some hibiscus or something. I can't remember. But it just smells like a fresh beach coconut like heaven. This is very unisex. I find this smells absolutely amazing on men. But I felt like I had to have this one for myself. This is perfectly unisex. And I think that this is just a must have for summer. <laughs> so when you're talking about just layering some good, like good, like light and fresh coconut vibe where it's not, you know, gonna be too sticky, sweet and heavy like your Dolce Garden, that is what I'm reaching for and pulling for. Um, so we're done with the actual combos. Now just quick tips, make sure that you are spraying exposed skin, okay? Spraying your hot points, yes, but you also, if wearing um, a shirt that stops here, spray your whole arm. Just spray the whole thing. Spray your exposed skin. I'm not a proponent of spraying the neck, but if this is out, spray, okay? If this is out, spray. Spray your exposed skin. Um, 
if your legs are out, spray behind the knees. Like they, those little areas that are gonna generate heat, you want to hit those and you wanna hit them good. When I spray my perfume in the morning, I light it up, let it sit. I come back before I walk out the door and I light it up again, okay? When I tell you, you layering on these scents, it's going to take so much time for the air to grab hold and take those particles away from your skin. So this is the whole point of layering, okay? And you want to spray your clothes. If the fragrance color permits it, Insolo is hell no. Don't ever spray your clothes with this. This is very, very dark amber color and it will stain. <laughs> but um, I, I probably wouldn't spray soften on either. But little stuff like this, those really transparent type of, you know, if you're wearing lighter clothes, they can probably handle it. Um, of course, you want to keep the garment fabric type in mind. You don't want to spray any of this on a silk. Like your X-rays, you probably don't want to spray those on certain garments because it's going to be very heavy on the oil. You can spray your clothes and your skin. That is going to be an ideal situation to get your scents to last all day. Last step, but not least, decant, okay? 80% of the scents out there, um, they're not gonna last you for longer than eight to 10 hours. So if you're gonna be gone all day, if you want your smell to be fresh all day, take a small decant, top yourself off in the hot little points every four hours, I'm telling you. It doesn't matter how beast mode it is, Okay, eventually you're gonna get down to the, the ultimate try down, okay? The, the base notes. And so you want that whole fragrant experience. You're going to have to top it off, all right? So you guys, that is our video for today. I know it was a long one, but we had a lot to cover. Hopefully you got some amazing layering combinations out of this. Leave me a comment below. Let me know layering combinations that you absolutely enjoy and maybe some of the ones that I shared here that you're looking forward to trying. I have enjoyed this time with you. Be sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Give the video a big thumbs up if you found any value in the content and make sure the notification bell is turned on. I love you all and I will see you on the next one.